What is going on guys? My name is Robin back again from Roman Views here with another episode reaction to Inspector. This is going to be episode 5, A Monster of the Imagination. I'm still looking forward to more interactions with Kotoko and the, I believe Saki was her name. Um, and a lot of people. It's funny, funny though, like personally, design wise Saki is obviously, like, it, it is better. Personality wise Kotoko takes the cake. I need to see more before if that judgment's going to change, but, I mean, in all honesty, like, yeah, I can see why Ko a lot of people like Kotoko. She's she's great. She, I like I love her personality, her quirkiness, and just her demeanor about a lot of things. She is quirky in some sense, some sense of the uh, term. Um, but, yeah, I'm ready to jump into this episode. I just got back home from work, so I am pretty tired. I do have some coffee. It's good stuff right there. But yeah, I'm ready to jump into this episode, so without further ado, let's jump in to episode 5 of Inspector Starting in 3, 2, 1, let's jam. Oh, that's right, that's where it ended off. And why is he fighting her? So is shirt. So is hers. It's not like he's gonna die. Unless, it, well, I, I mean, I'm assuming if he like loses his head, though, that might be a a mortal wound. Oh, oh, this is the this is the encounter I wanted to see. I've been waiting. I've been waiting for this. Ah, oh, and then Q intro. Ah, okay. Of course, turning off the volume for that. Ooh, ooh, ooh. This was the fated encounter that I knew I wanted. I wonder how this is going to work out. I wonder if he's going to be pretty nonchalant about the whole thing, or we're actually going to see him, like, almost surprised. There's got to be something more to this, this whole thing. I'm I'm talking about like the girl, um, the girl with the without the face. Okay, let's see how this is gonna go. Yeah, he does look almost off. I wonder why he's like...
Did he actually get his head busted in? Holy ass! Okay, never mind. I thought... Okay, not gonna lie, that is a little bit, um... That would be a little bit off-putting, too. Interesting way of thinking, Kotoko. Are we actually gonna see... Hacks! Fucking hacks! <laughs> I'm curious as why he, like, he moves the way he does. Oh, he he figured out the range. Oh man! That's a good grip. He's got that completely cut, um, tucked in. Yeah, he's pretty fucking overpowered. Although I don't, I don't, I don't know if he can choke out a ghost. Just, yeah. Yeah, that's not nightmare fuel at all. Hmm. So it's pretty. So it's pretty. It's toxic. Mostly toxic to the human. So maybe it's because he also ate the the body of the mermaid that he was in more, so he couldn't die.
Everyone was given mermaid, but he's the only one. Yep. He's the only one. Holy shit! Jesus Christ, what the fuck's up with his family? What the fuck, man? Ah. What the fuck, dude? Oh, she's in the intro. This bitch. I don't know who she is. I don't know why. Sorry if I offended anyone by calling her a bitch. I don't know. I'm just. I'm like. Like. I'm still like in. That minds like that mindset of just everything that's happened to him. No, you're not going to rip her fucking neck off, are you? Oh, okay. It's not dead. No, that doesn't seem right. I lived, bitch. Oh, you, you just see a doctor about that. And also the face. Burn it? The only thing, maybe? Okay, yeah, also, you have really pet, bad, like, natural awareness. Yeah, this definitely um, jumped up in terms of, like, the darkness. Like, I knew this show had the ability to be dark in aspects. You would not get that after the first episode. <laughs> oh, he didn't disagree. So, hmm. Oh, okay. Interesting. Yeah. 
be smiling. <laughs> I know he still has some feelings. Like, you can tell. I... I, I'm curious if this is going to make a love triangle. I was going to say, are we about to see your undress? Because I have the button right here. I am not afraid to push it. Okay, now she's putting on clothes. That's, that's fine. Okay, I, th I thought she's gonna explain about that first time she was talking about. Jesus Christ. Goblin cat. Oh, okay, that's cool. The other, the other yoga are starting to warm up to them. That's actually pretty cool. That was an interesting looking face. <laughs> My only thing she she can be burned. Hmm. Mononoke. Okay, I'm a, I understand. It's almost like a, um, it's a trickle-down effect as well.
It's almost like the collective conscience created it. That actually is a really interesting concept. I wonder if that's been introduced in other things. Got a point. Everyone was talking about it. The media. Oh. Hmm. There you go. The internet. Fuck you, internet. <laughs> Although... I also count internet as a form of media, media medium, which I say that three times fast. That's actually a really cool concept. I like that. I like that. Imagine if like a creepy pasta in that sense would basically got into the situation that'd be fucked up <laughs> it took the form of what they thought It's actually really cool. That's a big twist. Okay. I wonder how long this arc is going to go for. Hold on. Best ending of the season. Fight me. Y'all can fight me. Easily the best. Every time I hear it. Just makes me nut. By the way, the 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 person singing, the man singing, is the voice actor for Light Yagami. Get that out of your mind. I need to listen to this like a couple more hundred times and then I can finally like actually start like saying all the words verbatim. Said the stands for you. I can say the English parts, of course. Oh man, it just. It's jazz. Ooh, all right. Preview. So, uncovering the real truth will actually dispel the current ghost, which is a formulation 
and, cumul- uh, and accumulation of a bunch of rumors, which is actually, that actually makes a lot of sense in the grand scheme of things. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys thought in the comic section below this episode. This is a really good episode. We got to see more of a, of our main man's, uh, background. And pff, that was a fucked up background. I, Jesus Christ. Get to, I'm assuming that was all of his, like, relatives and all of his, um, other family members are, um, it might not be immediate, but, like, all of his family around him just fucking die when he was, what? He looked, like, maybe, like, he looked really, really, really young, like, so, seven, eight, nine, maybe. And just the fact that everyone but him couldn't, everyone but him couldn't handle the mermaid, the mermaid, uh, meat. And so everyone else basically fucking died in front of him. And he's like, oh, you're okay? Cool, now I get to test this out. And then the grandmother just fucking stabs him in the face. Yeah, it's fucking weird. And then, of course, we're, I'm trying to figure out who this other girl was in the backstory who has who is shown in the intro and we finally get to see her in now in episode five um and i think she's going to be the next arc or at least she's going to be the final arc because they're putting a lot of prevalence on this and i feel like after this episode we're probably going to wrap up on this arc um and then we're probably gonna have another mini arc and or, yeah, we're probably going to have a mini arc and then we're probably going to get introduced to that lady because the lady was the last character introduced in the intro. I think it was a couple other people. Her was in it. Um, still, not to say. And then it was that lady. So I'm curious as to who she is, what kind of connections she has with Kuro, and why she appears to be with the antagonists rather than the protagonists, I guess, if you can... If you get what I say, if you get what I mean. But anyways, guys, let me know what you guys thought. I really liked this episode. Um, ooh, in terms of just the pure writing, I think this might be my favorite episode. Probably due to recency bias, but as of right now, as I'm recording this right now, it, my, my my opinion is easily subject to change. I think this might be my favorite episode right after the first one. First one is very different, though, in terms of the the feel of it, the subtleties, and the atmosphere. Complete different. Compared to the first episode, this episode is completely different. So I'm curious. But anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you guys thought in the comment section below. What did you think of this episode? And, whew, this was a good episode. But anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. See ya.